Here's Jacqueline Tomlinson and another tenant sweeping a water from their flooded building lobby in the Bronx. Rainfall pouring through the ceiling lights during Saturday's heavy rainstorm. For Tomlinson, there was no escape from the rain. When I opened the closet, it was just pouring in there. She was one of the more than 100 residents displaced after the building partially collapsed on December 11th. Coming back to the place she's called home for 38 years and raised her three children has not been a pleasant experience. We haven't had gas since we came back. So how do you cook? On a little burner that they gave us. Beatriz Arias recorded this video. She lives on the first floor and tells us that she was the first one to notice the water coming down and called 911. She thought about the collapse from December. We've learned that the Department of Buildings issued the landlord another violation for failure to maintain this property located at 1915 Billingsley Terrace. The Legal Aid Society suing the owners of this building. There's over 200 violations in the building and in common areas inside of people's apartments. There's an additional 12 Department of Buildings violations. Meanwhile, other tenants like Medi Suarez have to come up with creative ways to just live a little bit more comfortable. She actually uses tape to seal the window. Going back to Jacqueline Tomlinson, she's now cleaning up the mess in her apartment on the sixth floor and trying to figure out what was damaged. But most importantly, are you afraid something even more dangerous is going to happen? Yes, <laughs> yes, I am.